welcome to edupedia world in this module we will learn about how green revolution affected indian economy green revolution at the time of independence about 75% of the country's population was dependent on agriculture the state of indian agriculture before adopting the new agriculture strategy that is called nas was as follows there was uneven and very low growth there was imbalancing regional growth accompanied by imbalanced intersection inequality of income serious droughts of two successive years and external aggression with pakistan in 1965 these unfavorable conditions of agriculture sector forced indians to have self sufficiency at least in food front this paved the way for application of scientific techniques and latest advanced method of production in the initial stages the new technology known as intensive agriculture district program that is called iadp was tried in seven district but afterwards another innovation the high yielding variety program that is called hyvp was incorporated and this strategy was applied to the whole country this strategy was known as new agriculture strategy in the kharif season in 1966 india adopted hyvp for the first time this innovative strategy was introduced in 1965 with limited crop wheat rice bajra maize etc the basic ingredients of green revolution were as follows that is using hyv seeds multiple cropping of present farmland and regular increase of farmland areas now we come to characteristics of green revolution Professor Norman E Barlang of Mexico developed the new high yielding varieties of wheat because of hyvs there was substantial increase in production and productivity of food grains india got changed from food deficit country into a food surplus country this innovative change known as green revolution was limited to few regions and for crops namely wheat rice bajra and jowar but the most outstanding performance among above crops was exhibited by wheat the green revolution in india may be also called as wheat revolution in other words the green revolution means a continuous increase in production of agricultural crops over a long period of time the green revolution refers to significant increase in agriculture production which was due to use of now agriculture innovative techniques the main characteristics of green revolution are application of package inputs in that it consists of hyv seeds fertilizers pesticides and better agriculture practices especially in the areas of guaranteed water supply next is rotation of crops with the application of short term hyv of majority of crops it help farmers in growing of two or more harvest in one year next characteristic is provision of credit and package of inputs by government agencies the government was empowered to give sufficient and well in advance credit facilities and package input to the farmers before the sowing season next point is expansion of minor irrigation program the focus was on for expansion of minor irrigation program for the better results of new strategy of agriculture and last characteristic is declaration of minimum support price in order to motivate the farmers regarding genuine and fair prices for their crops the minimum support prices were to be declared well in advance of the sowing season the basic objective was to prevent the large fluctuations in the income of the farmers to achieve equity 
now we come to achievements of green revolution there were innovative changes in indian agriculture due to green revolution here we will discuss some of the main changes of green revolution first is increase in production and productivity the green revolution facilitated manifold increase in food production which relieved indian economy from the continuous food shortages since high yield variety programs was limited only to crops of wheat rice maize jowar and bajra the non food grains were not included in the new strategy there was significant increase in wheat production as you can see in the table that there was an increase in production of wheat from 11.1 million tons in 1965 to 66 to 85.9 million tons in 2010-11 although the production of rice in the beginning enhanced at a slow pace but later on at a faster pace that is the production of rice increased from 35.1 million ton to 95.9 million tons in 2010-11 the production of coarse cereals increased from 26.1 million tons to 43.6 million tons the change was not as significant as compared to above mentioned crop it can be analyzed that the productivity of wheat and rice was enhanced in substantial manner the productivity of oil seed and pulses increased significantly which proved that the spread effects of green revolution were broad based covering more crops next is rise in income although green revolution was limited to few crops that is wheat and rice and four regions that is northern region including the state of punjab haryana and western uttar pradesh and later on andhra pradesh its benefits were enjoyed by the farmers of the above mentioned states green revolution played a critical role in alleviating rural poverty in these states next is increase in employment opportunities the new agriculture strategy that is green revolution has led to a significant expansion of agricultural employment due to introduction of multiple cropping it solved the problem of seasonal unemployment to a larger extent as more and more workers were required for activities throughout the year in addition for successful implementation of green revolution better irrigational facilities enhance the employment opportunities fourth point change in farmers attitude the evidence of qualitative changes in attitude can be observed from the short and long term investment decisions of the farmers that is increasing application of inputs like hyv seeds fertilizers pesticides etc and their investment as tube wells and pump sets for irrigation agricultural operation has increased its status from subsistence activity to commercial farming due to green revolution next point is commercialization of agriculture a significant increase in output due to increase in productivity and production with minimum support price resulted in generating marketable surplus in agriculture that is more revenue of the farmers led to increase in their disposable income consequently it motivated farmers to commercial farming in lieu of subsistence farming and the last point is self sufficiency in food grain due to significant increase in production and productivity india started maintaining buffer stocks of food grains for the emergency circumstances consequently india at least achieved growth with self sufficiency which is a remarkable achievement so these are the achievements of green revolution in india after discussing the achievements of green revolution there were some failures also so now we will discuss failures of green revolution as already mentioned the green revolution was limited to few crops and few regions of the economy that is it spreads effects were limited the main failures of green revolution were 
limited crops and limited area. As Green Revolution has limited application for the crops of wheat and rice growing states of Punjab, Haryana, UP and Andhra Pradesh, these states benefited the most economically. On the contrary, in the other states where Green Revolution did not expand, continued to be poor. Regional disparities and imbalances in terms of income and wealth inequalities widened as only some regions well endowed with resources and irrigation have been benefited. Next failure is tendency of capitalistic farming. The Green Revolution benefited by and rich farmers only because they could spend huge amount on pesticides, fertilizers and irrigational facilities. Loans were available to rich farmers at concessional rates. On the contrary, small and marginal farmers could not afford to adopt new technology due to their poor financial condition and poor credit worthiness, in addition to small size of land holdings. Next point is uneven grains. The grains of Green Revolution were not evenly distributed all over the country. The Green Revolution consisted of application of high yielding variety seeds, machinery, fertilizers, irrigation, soil conservation and improved tool etc. The factors such as institutional credit worthiness, guaranteed water supply and farm size and extension services were critical for achievement of application of these ingredients or components. The regions which were well endowed with resources and other potentials used the modern inputs and consequently got the benefits. So all the regions could not adopt the new strategy which simultaneously led to uneven grains in the country. Next point, unwanted social consequences. Green revolution facilitates the way for transferring large number of tenants and share croppers into agriculture laborers due to large scale eviction of tenants by large farmers as they find large scale farming to be highly profitable. Next point is harmful effects. The enhanced mechanization of farms has resulted in huge number of farm accidents. The excessive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides have created the problem of pollution and health hazards. This has raised the question of sustainability and environment. Next point is increase in unemployment. Due to excessive mechanization of every activity, it has increased the unemployment of specially unskilled workers and laborers. So with these we can conclude that the Gains from green revolutions have been tremendous. That is, India achieved self-sufficiency in food grains, growth with self-sufficiency. But at the same time, it is very important to extend the new innovation to all the crops, all the states and all categories of farmers, whether it is small, large or marginal. Instead, this program should be for a comprehensive and broad-based development program for rural India. As per the 11th five-year plan, we need a second green revolution to enhance the growth rate of agriculture GDP to 4%. But this is not an easy task because actual or realized growth rate of agriculture GDP is around 2%. Consequently, we have to devise such policies which promote continuous growth in non-agriculture employment with 4% agriculture growth rate. So this is how Green Revolution affected Indian economy, its benefits and its failure both have affected the Indian economy. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.